Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to say that I've been joined by Janis Mazkai, who was the co-facilitator of the WISIS Plus 10 meeting. Now this was a key meeting in New York last December. Can you very briefly explain what was at stake? Well, there were several issues that were very important, not least the renewal of the mandate of the Internet Governance Forum, which was extended for another 10 years, and also the further direction of the WISIS process in general and what the member states did was reform the basic line or wh where it had been already going, but also giving some more uh, directions, m new aspects with respect to human rights and cyber security, for instance. I understand that there was quite a lot of uh, relief that uh, the internet was not going to splinter under various government control, but they opted for a multi-stakeholder approach. Indeed, the multi-stakeholder approach was reaffirmed not only with respect to the internet governance, but also with respect to the WISIS process in general. But uh, it was something that we felt as co-facilitators that there was quite a lot of goodwill from everybody concerned that uh, indeed there has been the success of the internet uh, that is largely due to the multi-stakeholder process and that was why uh, the member states who at the end of the day adopted the resolution on the WISIS review uh, supported the multi-stakeholder approach also for the future. WISIS of course prides itself on being first and foremost a multi-stakeholder forum mm. and there are WISIS action lines but one of the issues here I understand is how those action lines are going to feed in to the sustainable development goals. Indeed, uh, and what we have seen already at the early stages is that uh, it has become very clear that uh, ICTs are instrumental for the implementation of practically all of the sustainable development goals and that this is one of the very important tools at our disposal to speed up the implementation of the SDGs, most importantly the eradication of poverty. And indeed, we've got 15 years uh, for this information and communication technology to really be the enabling technology. Um, the race is on, isn't it, if we're going to meet that deadline? Yes, indeed. In fact, we have even less time if we look in the wisest perspective because the next wisest review will uh, take place in 2025. So by then already we have to be able to deliver on the hope that uh, the communities have uh, that ICTs indeed are instrumental and that they will be able to feed into uh, the SDG implementation which will be five years later. Yanis Mazakai, co-facilitator of WISIS Plus 10, thank you very much for joining us this thank afternoon. Thank you for having me. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where we will be interviewing experts, regulators, ministers on how these WISIS action lines will feed into the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you very much.